A combination of old and new in Chengdu, China, the fourth World Cup race of the 2018 season. Brand new stadium used for only a couple of years, designed for triathlon and Gonzalez last year's champion, hoping to make it two in a row. But right there, Petsov from Azerbaijan, the man who's had three silvers, hoping to make the fourth time lucky here in Chengdu. After a day of qualifying, the athletes had one night to get ready and the incredibly fast super sprint format, 400 meter swim, a 10 kilometer bike ride, and then just two and a half kilometers of running to the finishing line. And not a surprise to see Richard Varga taking the pace out very quickly as he has done so many times in his career. Felix Duchamp from France sitting on Varga's feet and it was Seth Ryder from the United States, the young talented 22 year old holding on to third place as a group of three athletes came out of the water hoping that they might just have an opportunity to make a breakaway. Igor Polyansky was also a part of that group coming out of the water and with three or four outstanding swimmers and maybe eight or 10 seconds, a hope that they could break away. And very early on, there was a group of four athletes who made a distinct group breakaway on the course, but with only seconds back to Gonzalez and 26 other athletes, it was likely to be just a matter of time before the entire group would come together. Into the early stages, Varga, Seth Ryder, Polyansky did their best to try to keep that eight or nine second gap out on the course. But as time would continue on, the athletes would pull them back. Gonzalez saved his energy through most of the bike, expecting, I think, that this would come together onto the run course. Through the late stages of the 10 kilometer bike ride, American Tony Smargowitz tried to make a breakaway had a couple of small little gaps out onto the course, hoping that a 10 or 15 second gap out onto the two and a half kilometer run course would make a big difference. And Smorgovitz did put his head down, used up a significant amount of effort and did in fact have a gap as the athletes came to the end of the 10 kilometer bike ride. So kudos to the young American for doing his best to give himself a bit of a gap and an opportunity to steal the race away from Gonzalez Petsov and some of the other more experienced athletes on this format. Smorgowitz came to the end of the 10 kilometer bike ride with the masses behind him. A crash took him out and down. He did get back up and finish the race, but certainly any of the benefits that he had from that gap lead were dissipated by the time he got onto the run course. With 30 men and just two and a half kilometers out on the course, some outstanding running was expected. A format that Gonzalez dominated in 2017. And as we said, Petsov has been a bronze medalist on this course three separate times. Not a surprise to see Gonzalez taking the pace out hard. Pearson from the United States, a surprise as he put his head up into that lead group of five through the early stages of the two and a half kilometers of running. Nearly perfect conditions for the athletes in Chengdu, World Cup race number four, and as the late stages came down to just three or four men, it was Gonzalez who made the first significant move, trying to get away from the group of four or five. Gonzalez, renowned for his running abilities, and the Olympian trying to do his very best to steal another win, but it was Petsov starting to make the move, and the crowd waited for the finishing line. It did not take long before they looked up, and Petsov, after three silvers, would claim his first ever World Cup win in Chengdu, a fantastic sprint finish. It'd be Deschamps from France taking the silver and on the podium, once again, Gonzalez. This time you'd have to settle for bronze, but it would be Petsov claiming the overall victory in Chengdu, China. Yeah, it's very really tight. It's uh, always a sprint, always a sprint finish. It's always hard. It's, uh, but I'm happy uh, for the first time here and Three times in a row I was second and today I win and it's my, it's my perfect day. <laughs> uh, очень тяжелая гонка. Я очень рад наконец-то победить здесь. Это четвертая попытка и я очень счастлив оказаться наконец-то на первом месте впервые на Кубке мира. Спасибо. Yeah, of course. Like before the race, I guess there were no favorites. You know, it was like it can be anyone's race. And so my swim wasn't so good. Um, yeah, I don't know, a lot of fight and I did not exit the water in good position, but on the bike it was one big group, so I tried to save as much as energy as I could. And yeah, on the run when it was, you know, again like a lot of guys together and in the final like 500 meters, Rodrigo Gonzalez made a move and it was only Peftov and me that could follow and well then I knew it would be the podium and I tried my best, but Rostislav Peftov was stronger today, so 
credits to him and I'm, I'm still really happy with second. It's my second podium at the World Cup, so still pretty exciting. Too. Yeah, I was in the first out of transition as I wanted, but I was able to make it up, so to make up some positions at the start of the run. So I took a lead in the first lap of the run and then on the second lap I attacked and some get, got dropped and then the second time I attacked we were just like three or four guys there and then well, I, at the end I couldn't keep the lead and I was passed by Felix and by Rotislav but I think it was a good race and I'm also happy for Rotislav that after three years in a row placing second he finally got the win and also got to be sharing the podium with Felix.